Greetings. It's been a while since I've done a video. So, I um, want to take things on a more serious level. You know, I used to look at everything like a joke, so I'm now <laughs> looking at it as a bigger joke, to be honest with you. Buenos dias, amigo. Todo bien. <laughs> and um, I want to talk today about something that when um, I realized, hey, I have respect, I'm on the friggin' video. Hey! And um, it's simply this. Back in 2012, it hit me like a ton of bricks. It's a holographic universe. It is navigated on your thoughts. So why then are there so many problems in the world? And the answer is because of your thoughts. Because of our thoughts, our thoughts are impure. How did they get impure? Generation after generation after generation of impurities, of completely being bombarded by other people's um, likes, dislikes, uh, user distortions and everything else. No, I'm not here to discuss how they do it. You all know. Somebody, uh, a woken person, put up yesterday on Facebook about time for empaths to change their, um, their projection. Stop taking on the energies as a negative and start broadcasting the energies that you know is true. So I didn't want to come on and give lessons about it. I want to say this. Everything in this reality that is crumbling and falling, and if it's not in your reality, crumbling and falling, I'm not talking about your selfishness. That's another thing I want to talk about. I'm talking about for everyone else. Because if everyone else is not in a better frequency, then you are not either. You can fool yourself. And that's the problem too. You know, I'm gonna talk about that. Fooling yourself. That's what a lot of people are very good at, you know. Oh yeah, put myself in a fool myself situation. It's not important. We've all done this. Our thoughts are the navigator. Our thoughts are the judge. Our thoughts are God. You know, I remember when I used to navigate, what would Jesus do? And I was thinking, wow, he wouldn't appreciate this. So therefore, I became ashamed. And then something happened. Something negatively happened because of shame. But shame is only a projection of an outer reality inflected on you. If you're alone and you pooed yourself, who's there to be ashamed of? Who is there to judge your shame? Shame is a projection from an outer, um, an outer judgment. So, you know when you're with your good friends and you can admit that you shot your pants, then it's no big deal because you're with your good friends and they say, Troy, it happens to us all the time, no big deal. But if you had nobody else around, just your dog and your cat, are you going to be ashamed? No. So what I'm saying here is thought is everything. But judgment, the outer reality judgment on you and your taking of what's important 
is what's creating the thoughts. I keep saying this, the cure for everything is 42. 42 days alone. And you start to realize that there's nothing else that matters except for your thoughts. Pure thought, the most powerful force in the universe. Why is it the most powerful force in the universe? Because you are the creator of your universe. Other people are creators of their universe and their universe is inflicting upon your universe. Get it? And so therefore, if those thoughts are not in alignment with your divine knowing, then they're polluting you. Either you have to dance around with it, either you have to just be pure love and see eye to eye and accept each other and then there is no more projection of these thoughts on each other. Or you find your own pure thought and stay within it and become impervious. Um, I call it rational immunization. Be sensible about what you let into your psyche, what you let into your thoughts. So pure thought is this. You got nobody else's voices in your head. Not your mother, not your father, not your sister, not your brother, not your girlfriend, not your boyfriend, not anything else, not society, not approval, not your job, nothing. Pure thought is purely you, your thought. And that way, nobody, you ever drive a car and have somebody holding the, holding the wheel along with you? It don't work. You just hold that wheel and then somebody else is holding the wheel. You, you feel like your car is going to crash. So that's, if you look at it, I'm just thinking of this analogy, this analogy works. Pure thought is your steering wheel with only your hand on it. If anybody else's hand is on it, you're going to have a mishap because two minds cannot be thinking left and right at the same time and end up not fighting each other. I'm going to use that one. Thank you. So, pure thought is how you navigate this reality. This is how you fix this reality. And I'm not asking anyone else to agree with me and give me likes and anything like that. I don't care. I'm giving you the knowing of the solution of all that's going wrong. The world is falling apart. I know it's falling apart because I know it's impure. It's not falling apart for me in this reality. Right, Boo? Got anything to say? He never pays attention when I want him to. That's just his style. Hey, talk to me. See, he looks when I'm not. <laughs> this is the second I took the camera off. He looks. And um, yeah, pure thought. What is pure thought? You know, how do you purify your thoughts when it's never ever been pure? There's always another God inside of your thoughts. There's always a landlord inside of your thoughts. There's always a roommate inside of your thoughts. There's always somebody else fooking with your thoughts. Because you're not allowed to broadcast without a reaction from the outer reality. So once you learn to navigate this reality in a sound fashion, where you're not pissing off everybody and everything, you're just standing in your truth and knowing, then you're, you're there. So in the knowing, of, I was right. Damn, man. Look at these stupid people lining up for, you know, the joke. Look at them. Hey, can you watch this video before you do that? Um, 
dude, that's conspiracy shit, man. I don't want to hear that. You know, you're almost going to say, you know, good riddance to bad rubbish because you're the kind of people that just made me pissed off. You don't listen, you don't pay attention, you don't want to care. You know, another thing that's popped up into my brain is the, the amount of selfishness that I see. Always asking for help to, to help everybody else. But nobody cared. That, when I say nobody, it's like... They, some of the people we love, they just... They're selfish, man. They're not doing it for nobody else but themselves. Well, I don't want to do that because it doesn't hurt me. It doesn't suit me. It's like... No wonder your life is miserable. You only think about yourself. The lighting is better like this. You just have to hold the camera. So... You know, is that pure thought? Being pissed off with other people? Well, it, 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 it's like, mm, it, 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 it's a change of thought. It's like, why are you like that? What's this reflection giving, coming back to me? You know? And so, in my mind now, I have to go, pause. You don't matter. Move on. Pause, you don't matter, move on. Pause, you don't matter, move on. Keep right, keep right, keep right. You know, and I'm telling you this. You see the, those thoughts in my head? Everything is in my hologram. They start to die, fail, and fall off. I'm serious. When I witness the selfishness that's fed back to me from other people's attitude, I don't specially dig that shit. I really don't. But I can't change you. This is the part of my reflections that I don't specially care about. And that's what's dying off. That's how powerful we are. Once you know you are the creator of your reality. M many other people have this ability. Most are not using it in purity. They're using it from uh, a defense mechanism. They have to defend themselves. The ego has to come in and defend themselves. I am, I am in, a, in defense. And really, really and truly, what you have is creating a block instead of a change. But that's, that's, we could go on we, we can go any way you want if i had a question i would be able to answer what is your thought and how it actually creates the world you are in every resistance every block every trigger everything that ever happens to us is a deflection and it changes your holographic reality it's not a theory anymore. On this timeline that we're on, the ones who will survive and know this timeline will know that the mastery of their own thoughts are what's creating the either creation or the destruction. And that's the truth. That is the absolute truth. So, Purify your thoughts. Remove everyone from in your head. No one else matters until you know how to navigate your own thoughts. I didn't say that in a selfish way. It's almost like if you said to your friends and family, says, hey, mom, I want to do a master of my own thoughts. Can you just not impose anything on me for 42 days? Just leave my door shut put the food under the <laughs> put the food under the door <laughs> I'm joking but you know what I mean I don't think it's possible I used to think it was like brain waves because you can feel people's energy and their thoughts and you know really and truly if you're in their space it affects you because you don't want anybody to be uncomfortable 
And the more you seclude yourself, is the harder they come at you. That's how the matrix was designed. Anytime you try to avoid something, it knocks harder. And these, these games have been played. They, that part of the matrix has been cracked in the collective consciousness. Once one knows it, all knows it. So there's a million and one ways your thoughts can go. Your thoughts are so rapid that just in my conversation, just in this interaction right now, there is things that are in my mind. Hey, Troy, check your telegram. What messages do you have? Okay, you know, that's in the back of my mind. Do I check it now? No, I'm on the video. I don't check it now. All of these things, they're in your brain, just going, 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 going. But the, the, the main thing that I want to bring to everyone, the collective, the ones who haven't found this yet, the ones who are searching on this path, on this timeline, is to purify your thoughts. Purify your thoughts. Take everything and everyone out of your head. It doesn't matter. When you get to a point you can dwell in anything. You can dive in the pits of a crocodile or a snake pit and you can't get hurt. That's how powerful it is. It is the most powerful force in the universe. And the, the, the negative side of that was some one that science and, you know, Einstein. A quote was given years ago to me. I don't know if it exists or if it's on another timeline, but Gossip is the most destructive force in the universe. And when you look at what gossip is, it is the opposite of pure thought. It is hearing something about somebody and creating a judgmental feeling that you're not even sure of and creating a negative um, projection on that person. And then that person is now reflecting and reacting in a negative way and it perpetuates and perpetuates and perpetuates and before you know it it's a war zone the most destructive force in the universe and it continues and that is what we are in the elites have done this they control your movies they control the imprints in your mind the newspapers the narratives everything and they are the ones who suggest to you how to think and this is what's happening and what's also happening too is the clash between the ones who have woken up the knowing and the narratives that are playing out in the ones we call the people thinking in three, third dimension or the sheep or the musketeers or whatever derogatory statements you want to give on the non-participating characters in the background who are voluntarily lining up for the death juice. You know them people that just never hear you? If it's not coming from Walter Cronkite on the midnight uh, at 11 o'clock hour, it ain't news. Those people? Mom? Those people? That's what we are, that we're up against. We're up against mind programming and impure thoughts, not original thoughts. So I'm going to check out now. And if I have anything more to add to it, I'm going to pause this and see where it goes. I'm going to pause this and see, you know, what comes up in my head before I terminate this video. So I may be back. Blessings. Yeah, I think that covers everything, man. Holographic universe. Navigating by your own thoughts. Everyone else's thoughts projecting on you. They're also navigating their reality. 
some people are navigating the cabal's reality because they are programmed by the cabal they don't think for themselves they just do exactly what they're told to do your job is to move out of that to be a sovereign thought it doesn't matter who said they are the shepherd who said this is the morality of how man should exist Shush. it doesn't matter all that matters is it serves you and observe what everyone else is reacting to don't be disrespectful treat you them like how you want to be treated every time somebody's playing music loud beside you you think about the times when somebody the other way around if i was playing music loud and i'm disturbing people i need to look at how i am disturbed and usually i love music so i'll play my music loud because i want the music i like the music and i like to see other people enjoy their music so when you live beside me you're gonna hear the music loud man that's how it goes always like playing full watts tonight <laughs> yeah and you know that's just an example that's just an example i don't need to conform to what you like I have to conform to what I like. I have to really look at it and say, no, I, I don't mind that, so I'm not doing it. I'm not shutting down my music. Not because your program says no. It's not my responsibility. And this, this is powerful. You want to change your reality and you want music around you, then play your music. As long as you know it's not hurting anybody. I mean, if it's 2 o'clock in the morning and you're waking up people, I don't like that. I don't want other people's music waking me up. Usually it doesn't though. I like it. So Anyway, said enough. Sovereign thoughts, pure thoughts are the timeline we are going on. When this is all finished, every single person with impure thoughts will either crash, burn and rise into pure thoughts or they will fade away however that looks and um a cycle blessings be and um you know i know that this knowledge that i have there is no other i don't care what university degree that you have a surgeon a general i don't give a fuck what you have you still have to work with other people and you still have to fracture your thoughts and therefore you can't be the creator of your own reality and you're going to end up miserable yet you can join their system all you want there's there's three things that you need you need love health and prosperity and usually one is missing and that's not by accident so the only way to get all three of them in one is to go through the purge of being yourself and you're going to attract the other selves like you because it is a magnetic law of attraction anyway blessing turn it up I missed that one. Hay muchas formas de llegar al trabajo, pero en Driver es I just wanted to jam out with you, but I got Spanish ads. Blessings.